Oh, check this out. See all these little flakes here? This is what's known as a squirrel midden or a dedicated spot where a squirrel will post up and devour seeds from a conifer cone, like uh, the spruce cone here, for example, you know, basically gnawing off all these scales to eat the seeds or within leaving the remnants in a big old pile like this. Now, squirrels are highly territorial, having several middens which they will fiercely defend from one another. And these middens are historical sites placed in the center of prized territory between healthy, delicious, productive trees that provide them with food and shelter. Now, these sites can be gained or lost through territorial disputes or inherited generationally when a mother squirrel will gift it to her offspring to ensure their survival with a single site staying in use for decades, developing to be over several feet deep in debris. Now this one here is a pretty average size for a newer midden, but check out this one I found over here. It's an absolute heaping mound of cone remnants that would have all been eaten by the same squirrel. It's pretty wild. Check out all of this debris here. Pretty nuts. Now, Depending on the size and type of the cone, squirrels have been observed eating between 50 to 100 cones a day, and sometimes more than that in a single sitting. See, in the fall, squirrels will run around up there in the branches, way up in the canopy, and they'll gnaw off cones which will fall to the ground. They later collect them and store them in the winter in tunnels within their middens here, routinely taking them out to eat them. Now, if all these trees around here created a consistent amount of cones every year, the squirrel population would eventually grow to match that output. But that would mean that no new trees would have an opportunity to grow. So these trees have adapted to produce higher quantities of cones every three to five years during what's known as a mass year, where a sudden boom of cones overwhelms squirrel populations so they can feast like this one has here. But then the next few years, those trees produce fewer cones that keeps those populations within the carrying capacity of the ecosystem. Now, this is a strategy evolved by these trees to swamp out seed predators like squirrels squirrels and birds, which ensures that when mass years do occur, not all the seeds are able to be eaten so that those left behind can germinate and grow into be the next generation of forest. But squirrels are pretty cheeky and smart little critters. They're actually able to track and predict mass years, so they typically have more offspring the winter before in anticipation for the coming abundance of food. It's a bit of a gamble, and while it's still not enough to fully exploit the seed cones of a mass year, it is a pretty dang incredible example of species interdependence that's evolved over millions of years, and is just one example of the biological complexity that's lost when we drastically alter the structure of these forest ecosystems. Pretty dang neat.